So today we're going to do caramel checks, a recipe that I've been using since I was in seventh grade. The recipe that I'm going to post with this video it calls for eight cups of corn checks, one cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of butter, and a quarter cup of corn syrup. I double it because the caramel checks never sticks in my household. It flies out the door like faster than you know it. So I actually am doing 16 cups of corn checks, two cups of brown sugar, one full cup of butter, which generally equals out to two sticks, and a half a cup of corn syrup. I have preheated the oven to 350 because we're going to actually roast these in a way in the oven. So you're going to start off by putting your corn checks in a roasting pan. Get it done and out of the way. Set it off to the side. Now we're going to combine the brown sugar, the butter, and the corn syrup into a pot. I'm going to scoop all of it out, make sure that it's all in there. We're going to move it over to the stove and put it on a medium heat to start melting this all together. This is going to take some time because the butter is in a whole stick form. You can start off by putting the butter in first and letting it melt, or you can do it like this. Either way is fine. So it's come up to a boil. As you can see, it's starting to look kind of frothy. We're going to let it boil for about one minute or so. You want to continuously stir it, especially if you're using a smaller pot, because it kind of it expands a lot. When I pull it out, it's nice and frothy when I first pull it out. See? One more time. That's what we're looking for. If it's not quite like that, then you're not ready yet. So now that it's been boiling about a minute, we're going to turn off the heat, and we're going to pour it over our checks. You have to do this kind of quickly, but also gently, otherwise you'll break the corn checks. You want to make sure you scrape it all out, because you want as much caramel as you can get. You can see that frothiness. This is where you need to be gentle. Don't worry about covering all of the checks this first time around. Just kind of get it covered as much as possible. Make sure you pull from the corners. Make sure you pull off, you don't have any extra checks on here. We are now going to put it in the oven. Remember we preheated this to 350 and we're going to put it in here for five minutes. After the five minutes is up, we're going to pull it out, again stir it gently, and then put it back in the oven for another five minutes. We're going to repeat that four times.
we've got about two minutes left in the last round in the oven. What we're going to do is we're going to prepare the space for where we're going to cool the caramel chicks. Now, if you have a nice tile or granite countertop, you don't necessarily need to use Pam, but I always do it just to be safe so that there's no sticking. You want to have a nice big space to cool it. So just spray the counter real lightly so that it's completely non-stick. So the buzzer just went off in the oven for our last batch. We're going to pull it out. And close up our oven. We want to stir it really quick this, before we dump it out just to make sure everything's fully coated. The next part, if you have an extra set of hands, is really helpful. My fiance, Dominic, always helps me with this part. So Dominic tips it for me so that I can scrape it all out. If you don't have an extra person that's not that big of a deal, just make sure you try to get everything out. All right. And now we're gonna spread it out so that it doesn't cool in big chunks. So they started to cool down a little bit so that I can use my hands. You want to make sure that you go through because they clump really easily. Just kind of break them apart if you can. Now a tip when making these, you want to use the corn checks only. There's also wheat checks and rice checks, but they don't hold up underneath the heat of the caramel and have a tendency to either really flatten or actually disintegrate. So make sure you use the corn checks. So they've cooled off quite a bit, but they're still a little warm. So make sure they're completely cool before you put them in any sort of bowl. But let's go ahead and try them. So 